Hey guys, here's part three. If you haven't seen part one and two, go ahead and do so before you watch this. And there'll be a, a recap at the end if you want to see the, the highlights of this. So let's let's get to it. we got about 15 cards left. We got Rocket Scyther. Look at that beautiful art. Like I said, my favorite word is beautiful because that's what these cards are. So if you don't like the word beautiful, please go home. Mint 9. I used to call him Scyther as a kid. Because I didn't know what a scythe was, so why was I calling this? Why would I call it a scyther? Lanes, Charizard. I didn't even see this one coming. 8.5. I love the art, first of all. And his movement. And then I love these moves. Roaring Flame and Flame Jet. Very nice. Beautiful. Sorry, I said it again. I don't know what's up with me. Ooh, check these out. I sent two of these in. Almost dropped them. And they got a 9.5, both of them. Italian Expedition. Love it. I like this card. I think because I like the, like the castle stuff. And they match the colors of the Butterfreeze. I got two of them, so now I just need to sell one and keep the other one. That's what. That's how you do it, you know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. All right. As promised, I got this card in German already as a gem mint, 9.5, and I got it in Italian as well. So check that out. I got both of them. Those are going on the wall. Seriously. Next. Oh, I was hoping better from this. I already got a, um, some... I think the Quinn Lava has already gone by. Got it at nine. I see all these cards. I don't. I don't even remember which one I got. This was a nine. I love that artwork. It's like a college dorm tapestry nowadays. That's all it reminds me of. All right. Next one. German expedition gem mint. I already had the Spiro. Now I got the 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 Firo or whatever it's called. Yeah, Firo. Yeah. Cool. See, they don't come back together. I submitted them together. They don't come back together. Alright, what do we got here? Team Rocket, Dark Charizard, 8.5. Everyone loves the Nail Flake. I was afraid of Charizard until the Nail Flake. And then I was like, oh, that's all you got? Let's go. Let's go, man. Continuous Fireball. Okay, that's a little scarier. 50x. Okay, yeah, that's a little scary now. Nail Flake, not so scary. What's our next one here? About about six or seven cards. Charizard EX Black Star Promo. Red and blue collection. Alright. Beautiful mint nine card. I like that black border. And the dark colors. You know I like a card that flows well together. Wing attack and combustion blast. Nice. I don't know how I feel about these EX cards, like, as their basic cards, because you can just come in and, like, blow up the place, basically, on a Pokemon match, but you know what? Oh, well. Alright, we got Gem Mint. Reverse Evolutions Charizard. Excellent. Try to catch the light all over that thing. It's everywhere. That looks like a foil inside. It's so nice. That's an awesome card. I've owned this in German, French, and Spanish, I believe. But I got rid of them. Oh, of course, in English too, but I got rid of them. But I don't think mine was Gem Mint. So, good pickup, man. 9.5. Excellent. Next one. We have a Lugia. Japanese Lugia. And 9.5. Wonderful. I have this card in German, and I have a first edition Spanish one. I'm, I'm getting back next week. First edition Neo Spanish one. So something to look out for. And my German one is right in the background, right there. Nice. Let's take one more look at that card. I like it. I like that little swirl at the bottom there. I like that stuff. Excellent. What else we got here? Coming up on the last ones almost. Gem Mint. Another Gem Mint. Nice. These Japanese ones are really cut well. Blaine's Charizard 9.5. Excellent. 
Party on. I, I usually don't like the Japanese ones, but that one I actually do like. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, this is mine. Japanese. Town on no map. Smoochum. Everybody loves a smoochum. Evolves into Jinx, right? Gem Mint 9.5. We got... Mint 9, Dark Charizard. First edition, wait, first edition. And the Swirl. Nicely done. I look for those swirls. It's like, where's Waldo? Nice. It's nice to have a mint first edition. You know, it makes a big deal of its first edition, so mint nine. Excellent. Nice little collection going there. Uh, I was mistaking this for for one that I've already gotten. I think I've already, I already got another one. Maybe I sent in two. I don't remember anymore. Quid Lava. Italian Expedition 9.5. I confuse my cards, so I have no idea if I've already <laughs> had a quit lava. Okay, last two cards here. Oh man. Suicune. I thought it was. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but I looked it up. Suicune. Gold Star Mint 9. Unbelievable. Let's look at that art. Lovely stuff. You are really killing it on these gold star cards, man. So this is good stuff. All right, let's 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 change out the willow wisp there. Put that down. And the last card of the night is we gotta end on the gold star Charizard. I'm holding out on the grade, man. Gold star Charizard. We thought it would come back a 1, maybe a 4, maybe a 6. It came back an 8.5. Now, that's a good grade. I think something's going on here, though. I don't think that's a Crystal Guardians. I don't know much about this, but I don't think that's a Crystal Guardians card. But let's look at this card, because this is beautiful. Let's worry about that later. I love the art. Love that it's got a gold star on it. Rotating claws, dark swirl. Very nice. Actually, my favorite part about this card, which is really weird, is this kind of like woven border here. Just makes it fancier than the rest. That's wonderful. All right. Really nice centering and everything. Let's look at the back. Yeah, I mean, it has some edging, but... I think you said you got this for a deal, so you'll probably make out like a bandit. Beautiful. So we'll we'll talk about this card, but I don't think it's a Crystal Guardians. I think it's like Unseen Forces, or I don't know. Del I don't know. You tell me. But beautiful card. Cool. Alright, so just to wrap it up here, I got too many cards to show all together. I just wanted to say... I did a little research on this, and this is obviously a mislabeling because it would say in big white letters here, four position only. So this, the fact that it says four position only on the, I mean, I got this out of a regular expedition box, um, you know, kit thing, whatever they're called, starter deck. So this is obviously a misprint, which is, hey, only in my favor, so that's cool. I wanted to sh just... Show you how much I love this card. That was one of the highlights for me. And I love the art on this guy. Just to show you again. Just so vivid and beautiful. If you don't own one of these cards, please do yourself the favor. And then I think this is my favorite. This is my favorite gold star right here. It's one of the first ones I showed, I think, and that is beautiful. Thanks for checking in, guys and girls. And hope you enjoyed the show check in um about a week from now like uh december 12th and you can see my uh 132 cards that are coming back from my neo genesis spanish returns and this was the example i showed you and as you can see these cards are mint
So that, that should be really fun. That should be a, a 9.5 and a 10 all day long. Thanks for checking in. Dark Benji 151 checking out.